Can men and women both get away with this in the workplace? I agree with you that the man is more likely to get in trouble for using equivalent language in this scenario, but I also agree with her that men often use language that is less appropriate than the language you're describing, and feel entitled to do so. According to my Our Professional Wife, the women could get in trouble if anyone overhearing feels their comments are inappropriate. Sue, yes the choice of language men often use makes it more offensive. And the fact that people are much more willing to believe that a woman slept her way to the top than a man did makes it worse to comment on a woman's attractiveness in the office. But it's against every bit of HR training I've ever received to say that it's okay for anyone to comment on the attractiveness of their co-worker in the office. Something being socially acceptable and acceptable to HR can be two different things. But I think HR would be on your side. And HR kinda supersedes social acceptability in the workplace because, you know, consequences. Who's is wrong? Who's is right? An awful lot of the responses here seem to be coming from people who didn't read your post far. Enough to get to the part where you consider different statements and say that the exact same language would be taken differently. You are correct. The exact same language would be taken differently. If you feel your coworkers' language is inappropriate, Report them to our and then you'll know your answer. I agree with you. Most people fail to realize that men can be sexualized inappropriately just as equally as women can be. And I say this as a woman. It's technically wrong on both sides. But I think women can get away with it more because they're not generally as aggressive with the people they're attracted to makes me think of that saying something like men's worst fear of women is being laughed at women's worst fear of men is being killed so i think that in actual fact it's often the language men choose to use rather than what they say that gets them into trouble is correct there is a pretty solid history of men choosing pretty poor language to describe women's attractiveness it could also be that since there is that history, even if that language is not being used that a men's conversation might get shut down preemptively. To stop it escalating to that language. Edit to add since this is getting attention yes this is a double standard and unfair if you aren't. The type of guy who does talk poorly about women. And yes, the language matters. Additional edit. I'm turning off reply notifications for this comment so please don't expect a response. It is incredibly unprofessional to comment on the attractiveness of any of one's colleagues. Gender does not matter. As a woman, you are absolutely correct. Everyone would look at you as a creep. I agree with you on this one. Yeah, you don't tell women who aren't your friends that you think another woman is hot. That's just the rules. The only woman I wish was single was that guy's dead wife. Mileage varies. Offices I've ever worked in. Women discussing good-looking men. Would say he's handsome or seems really nice. Men see an attractive woman. And it's a lot more direct to each other and has a sexual connotation to it. Not always nice. It's the messenger, not the message. Sure women might be thinking they'd like to bang him, but they aren't saying it. She has a point about the language used. I can't imagine men sitting around saying, oh she's pretty. I wonder if she's single. But you do have a point. And if you genuinely think their behavior is inappropriate for work you should say so. Woman speaking. I agree with you. It's a double standard. I always cringe when women at my job say things like that. Like let the man work lol. It is as you say. If and when the tables turn. And some man is saying things like that. I. Or any other woman. 
would be uncomfortable and probably report it. Report it to HR as sexual harassment. They are using sexualized language that you find uncomfortable. You don't even have to confront them about the language. Just inform HR, whose job it is to tell everyone to STFU sexualizing their colleagues and co-workers. They're paid to work, not ogle at employees. Comments that are that, tame, shouldn't rise to the level of harassment or an HR complaint emo. But the reality is that anything that makes anyone uncomfortable is grounds for an HR violation. Another way to parse the discussion. If the senior manager in question had said the same thing, it would definitely be a HR violation, regardless of that person's gender, just because they are in a position of power. So you could point out to your co-workers that if the words said could be a violation for anyone, then they could be considered a violation for everyone. It's basically double standards. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. Speaking sexual about the opposite while at work is grounds for disciplinary action. Those women are trying to justify their actions. You're right. If this situation was reversed and a woman had heard a group of men talking about a female, they all would have band together and cried to HR about how they feel uncomfortable. I wish all my superiors were single, male or female, because I hate authority figures and I wish them loneliness and an unhappy romantic life. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.